U.S. President Joe Biden announced a historic framework Thursday for spending $3 trillion on America's social safety net and crumbling infrastructure, but his claim to be on the cusp of a major political victory had yet to get full backing from Democrats. After weeks of internal party feuding on two ambitious bills, Biden sought a dramatic win by announcing he was sure of support on a revised spending framework just before he took off to meet the Pope and attend a G20 summit in Rome. I know we have a historic economic framework, Biden said in an address to the nation from the White House, shortly after meeting with Democratic leaders in Congress. Everybody's on board, he told reporters earlier, it's a good day. But key Democrats, whose wrangling over the contents and costs of the social spending bill has threatened to strip Biden of a legacy-making achievement, sent mixed messages. Two bills are in play, one worth about $1.75 trillion for education, healthcare, childcare and clean energy, and another worth $1.2 trillion for bridges and other hard infrastructure. Nancy Pelosi, a key Biden ally and Speaker of the House of Representatives, said she wanted a vote held Thursday on the infrastructure package, that is something left-leaning Democrats have resisted so far, insisting they will not back the infrastructure bill unless their priorities are included in the social spending bill.